like there will be a Logan Paul of beatboxing as much as anyone doesn't want to think about that. I think that that's interesting. And I think that goes back to the culture in beatboxing where people want to uplift the community and it's not necessarily like about selfishness. Uh, that probably won't stay forever as money kind of comes into the situation more and more. But for now it exists and cherish it while it lasts. I hope it lasts forever. Uh, I've, I've seen this before. Uh, the second money comes in, people want to make a living and that's fair, but they've prioritized themselves instead of the community. And that's, uh, you know, it's like we become adults. Happens, but that's what it is. There's a sort of um, community um, around battling in, in beatbox where it's like when you're in the battle, it's like you against them, like you're going to you're going to kind of try to disparage them and be like, I am better than you. Like you have this again um, and sort of be mean in the moment. Yeah. But I mean, no, I mean afterwards, yeah. you recognize it was just a battle and you hug it out and. Respect, bro. I do respect you, bro. Show some respect, bro. I do respect you, bro. Stop disrespecting, bro. I respect you, bro. Okay, I respect you too. Yeah, that's that's fine. That that wasn't what I was uh, uh, referencing. Like, I can appreciate. Like, LM got a lot of crap for it, um, but it was fun to watch. <laughs> like, like he, uh, um, I for, I couldn't find it again. I think it. Uh, he's like he's against somebody, and the guy is like, yeah, whatever. And he's like, he says that. But and then like he does like like a he adds another layer uh, of like sounds to the same beat, um, and it was like it was sick. Everyone was like, oh. <laughs> like it was great. Um, so yeah, that's not that's not where I'm. Um, I'm saying like uh, like like what Stitch is doing is like the beginning of people trying to prioritize their well-being. And that's fine. That makes sense. We're adults. We have to pay rent. I have a mortgage. Um, I think, though, there will be a time when someone... There's going to be someone who comes in who's, who's like pretty good, maybe even great, but they're, they're really interested in like making like a million dollars and to do that you cannot distract yourself with prioritizing a community to make that kind of bank you need to prioritize yourself um i just i think that that's inevitable uh like but i'm 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 i would be so happy to be wrong <laughs> like if that never happens or like someone makes a million and they bring the community with them like that's awesome but like like conor mcgregor comes to mind I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a uh, boxer in uh, StarCraft, Brood War, Conor McGregor in MMA. Uh, who's the boxer that Golden Gloves production guy? Definitely um, fuck, the, the guy with the undefeated record who's a total a-hole. Um, Floyd. Floyd, yeah. Floyd Mayweather is a perfect example of that. Um, he's yeah. a billionaire. Like, he was like, F you, pay me. Um, so, I don't think that that's Codfish and Marquet. I think what happened with, well, I don't know Marquet, I can't speak to Marquet, but I think what happened with Codfish was he got big being a content creator before he joined the community. So he came up on his own off of the back of his, his uh, content creation and how good he was and how he he rode the wave of Counter-Strike being, like, big. I mean, Counter-Strike is obviously still big, but, like, there was a time that making a Counter-Strike video was going to propel you super high because the... Um, and this is where beatboxing actually is right now. Uh, CSGO was massive. Everyone played it. Very few people made content for it. That's why Codfish exploded is because he's playing Counter-Strike, he's getting the views, he's, he's ranking in search, he's ranking in recommended, but then he's like, yeah, it's Counter-Strike, but hey, I'm beatboxing. Right? And so that's what built him, separately from the community. And then he joins the community. Um, and so, like, 
I don't think that I don't think that that's a good example. I can't speak to Marquet though. I mean, M- Marquet, um, he does have a lot of. Well, he, he's sort of in his. He's sort of beginning to converse with other beatboxers and try and get into, um, try to talk with other beatboxers and stuff. Um, he's mentioned he wants to come to the next GBB, um, and we haven't seen him at any sort of live events. He's sort of just been this um, only on uh, Vine and TikTok sort of guy. He yeah. does have a lot of popular, he, he even has a TikTok um, beatboxing and Ariana Grande right next to him singing. Um, so that's the sort of level that wow. his videos have gotten, the, the amount of traction that they've gotten, which is pretty big for him. And um, But yeah. So that, I don't think there's anybody right now that's at, at like near the top that isn't concerned about bringing the community with them. Yeah, um, that's that's awesome that he's willing to go into the GBB and and do that because like there's no need. <laughs> like guys probably raking it in. He doesn't need to go compete. So that's really cool. I, I I don't know if he's gonna compete. He said that he you wanted to be person. there. That's so. fine too. Like in uh, in in a way, I kind of prefer that too because he's actually he's pro- like him going, him talking about it. That's gonna bring views. Him not competing allows other people to take the stage on his platform. So I think that's actually yeah. actually really nice. Yeah, I don't think we have. He's a not going to be just like, oh, I, this is a big stage now. So look yeah. at me, look at me. He's going just to just for the community aspect of it. I think Codfish also brought a, a priority to flow, um, to answer Casey. Oh, yeah. 